Hey everybody, I'm back with another video for 44 Decor. So for those of you who may follow my husband and I on our other Instagram page, The Pope Duo, you may have seen our announcement about a couple months ago that I am expecting. And currently recording this video, I am eight months pregnant. So it's taken me a little bit longer to post and share with you guys what I've been up to because I have not had the energy. I have had the desire to decorate. I've had the desire to shop. I've had the desire to move things around and all that good stuff. But my body <clears throat> energy is just not matching up to that desire. So I am currently waiting on my next burst of energy from this pregnancy um, to do some things before the baby comes. They call it nesting. I remember when I had my first son, um, I nested probably about a month before he came where I just started like cleaning the house, throwing away stuff, getting ready for the baby because I am one of those people like I don't like to do clutter and I knew that the baby was going to bring a whole bunch of stuff um, with it. Like we had bottles and bassinets and blankets and I knew it was going to come with a whole new world. So I did not want to start filling my house up with new stuff <clears throat> until we got rid of the old stuff. So that's kind of what I want to talk about real quick with you guys today. So for those of you, you looking at your house, you ready to decorate, maybe you want to change your decorating style, you tired of looking at the same old, same old, whatever, first thing you need to do, first thing you need to do is get rid of the old stuff. Declutter, especially, well, before I say that point, I don't want to jump ahead of myself. I usually do that. Just get rid of stuff, okay? Start organizing. Start getting rid of things that you don't use, you don't need, things that are redundant, um, things that are broken, things that, are ne that need to be replaced. Before you buy any decor, your best asset with home decor is cleaning up. Because less is kind of more. <clears throat> and you want to have a blank slate to kind of see what it is you want to buy. So clean out that kitchen. Clean out them cabinets. Lord knows I need to do it. Uh, clean out those closets. Get rid of that stuff before you buy new stuff, okay? And this is especially a good tip for those people who, like me, start off a little, started off or maybe you're a little insecure with decorating. You don't really know the rules. You don't really know your flow. You may not know your style. Don't start buying stuff just yet. Get rid of things so you can know what you're working with. So again, I can't wait till this burst of energy hits me so I can start cleaning out some stuff. I know I got too much stuff in my kitchen cabinets. Um, I've, I've cleaned up a little bit throughout this pregnancy, but I'm always good for a good declutter. Something that my husband taught me years ago when we kind of first got married, he taught me that I, I clean up, but I don't really give things a home. And when he broke that down for me, the light bulb came on and it's never went off. What that means is don't spend your time straightening up and cleaning up the same old things like trying to neatly put it in place if it doesn't have a home. If something doesn't have a home, it's going to continue to get out of order. You see, we're going to always have to clean up. I've come to the realization that adulting means to clean. Like my house is always going to, my house is always going to get messy. My kitchen is always going to need to be clean. But I feel better when things are in a place and they have a home. My cookie jar, always in a place. My pots and pans, always in a place. My couch, always in a place. That was a bad example. Find a spot for your remote control, talking to myself. <laughs> Find a place for those things in your home so you're not constantly straightening up those things, especially if you have kids. Like, I know they're going to tear the house up anyways because my son could give a what what about my home decor but at least have a home for it when it's time to straighten up. At the end of the night, I pretty much straighten up my house. Like I don't clean, clean, but I straighten it back up for the next day and I put everything back in, in its place. You know, it's kind of like the kids have a toy box, put it in the toy box. So 
Before you go and try to style your home, before you buy home decor, before you go shopping and spend money, clear your house. Declutter, clean, organize, wipe it down, whatever you need to do. And that will help you a whole, whole lot. All right, y'all. Peace.